morning everybody and welcome to the Potters Resorts 2022 World Indoor Bowls Championships live from Hopton on Sea. Well it's ladies day today so we've got the ladies world match play for you this morning. The first game up is Scotland's Carla Banks against Wales' Kerry Packwood. Let's have a little look at what we have for the rest of today. Well we just have two games for you today. At 2 o'clock Laura Daniels a defending champion against Alison Merrion MBE and following that game around about 3.30 is Sandra Bailey of Ireland and Sophie Tolchard of England. Let's have a look at the match officials for this game. Well, the marker is Bernie Hill, the umpire is Francis Fletcher, and on the shot clock is Neil Bryce. Well, let's get the show on the road and go live to the portable rink and join our uh, MC, Jack Jenkins. Yes, thank you very much, Jason. First out this morning, we have a player who has twice made it through to the semi-finals of the ladies' match play competition. She has 13 national championship titles to her name and four British Isle titles. Please put your hands together. From Wales, it's Kerry Packwood. <laughs> this morning last year made it all the way to the quarterfinals of this event she has several national titles to her name including the national under 25 singles trophy please welcome out from scotland carla banks Over to Jason Parkinson in the commentary box. Well, thank you very much, Jack. Once again, everybody, very good morning to you all. Welcome to Ladies' Day here at the Potters Resorts 2022 World Championships. And joining me in the commentary box this morning is Julie Forrest. Morning, Julie. Morning, Jason. Thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure. Well, a very good game here for us, kicking us off our ladies' day. Always very popular at Potters. Jack length, 28 metres. Kerry Packwood here of Wales, 35 years old. Got to the semi-final of this event back in 2010 and also 2011. 13 national titles and four British Isles titles. Some go in that. And, what, and one of them was against me and Stanley. <laughs> when her and her sister and another girl on the triples um, beat us in the, in the final at Stanley a few years ago. Okay, we played very well in the mixed pairs. Led very consistent. <coughs> Carla Banks, well, she's just 22 years of age. Played in this event last year, lost just on a tie break with a, a running bowl. And then she went all the way to the, uh, the final, actually, of the mixed pairs. Just lost out in the final last year. Played well. Was against you as well. <laughs> she, it was, yeah. She, um, she led Wanted really it. well against me. It was a really great game that Carla played. Um, an up and coming player. Okay, they just need to run the now. Starting to find her line. Yeah, Carla's had to change bowls since the mixed pair. She was green, now she's red. It's funny, 
I think Julie, we ask that, get a question asked quite a lot. You obviously you have a set of each colour. Most players have a, a colour that they actually favour for some reason. Isn't it? I know Darren Bennett says he actually favours his his green bowls. Do you have actually a colour that you you favour? No, not at the moment. I have now. Um, um, I think the manufacturing now is obviously a, a lot different now. I know the the red bowls are made of a different, not a different compound, but they seem to. Sl um, glide more in the green, more as the green ones, um, but I've not really noticed much difference. Saying that, I'm playing green tomorrow. I've played red. I, li I like my red balls yesterday, um, and I'm to try and find a set of green balls now. But I'll just be probably sticking to the same um, Tiger Evos tomorrow, unless I, I decide you know, for the practice that they're not for me. Two shots, I'll, I'll another set of balls. 2-0, first then. Carla here. I think Carla will be looking to um, improve on yesterday. She obviously wasn't at her best yesterday and she's a better player as what she showed um, her game yesterday. So I think she'll be looking to improve today. And I think having the four balls makes a big difference. Yeah, massive difference. Jack length, 24 and a half metres. So, nice and short. Favouring different sides of the carpet at the moment, anyway. This is a lot better. Just needs to get back to centre rink now. Finished in a decent, decent spot. One red. I think if um, if you're struggling with your first and second ball in singles on this carpet, you're going to be in trouble. I think the way it's playing. Well. How far can she get back? Mm, that's a good effort. Just, just maybe eighteen inches, wasn't it? I think. Yeah. Well, just playing down this slightly tighter line needs good pace. In time. Carla just needs to face this back ball for another shot here. Yeah, she's just going to be overplayed, yeah. so there's a chance here for, for Kerry. Well, a couple of options. You can play something very similar. Just turn this jack. Concentrate on the draw. Jack will be a bit of a bonus. Yep.
Well, she's down this decent track again. It's just all on the pace again. If it's just slightly overplayed, it won't get back. One shot, Carla Banks. Set score 3-0 after two ends. Just wonder whether she might go just a little bit further with this jack. Maybe around about the 25 and a half, 26. Soon find out anyway what she's planning on doing. Yep, she's going a lot longer this time. Full length. Jack length, 29 metres. Well, that's well played. Mm -hmm. Kerry following her down. Not making the trip this time. <clears throat> A little bit of a push actually to a full length jack down there. Yeah, a little bit colder in that bottom corner, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Here again. Here again. Yeah. Good opening two balls. I'm not making the trip. Too bad. Kerry will be quite disappointed at that, I think. Kerry plays with quite a small bowl. She only plays with a size one, so you normally have to push them a little bit yeah. further, don't you? Yeah, we do. <clears throat> Wants to run by these mm. front ones. Skirt over the top. Yeah, it's in. Three red. Changed her hand now, see. At a pace. She needs to run these little balls. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of room for Carla just to stay on that forehand. Straight over the top of her own bowl. Good pace, we'll get back to the jack. Getting by that? Yep, clear run. It's in. Three word and a measure. <coughs> now, has she overplayed this? I think she has. So easy to do that on that hand coming down there. You just feel as though you need to just push it that just that little bit more and it just runs on. Well it's definitely three. 
car though, have a look for the fourth. Yeah, it looks like green, but it's quite deceiving, isn't it? Yeah. Distance. Yep, the angles sometimes can just uh, play tricks on you. So, Bernie Hill and Francis will sort these out. Don't forget, just the three games uh, for you today. Nothing on this evening. See when the BBC come in and just set up all their camera equipment and stuff like that. The final of the uh, quarter-finals will be tomorrow evening for the ladies. Catherine Rednell against Julie herself Three here. Shots, Carla Banks. Yeah, 6-0 after three ends. We stay with you on the stream. Uh, the BBC will be joining with us live from the Potters Arena here for the World Open Pairs final, which is Monday at one o'clock. Join David Corkle and his team for that one. It's going to be an absolutely cracking pairs final, that one. So, a very good start for Carlo. Jack length, yeah, 26 if, um, metres. If the pairs is anything to go by, the balls just are doing the two ball pairs with Mark Dawes and Stuart Anderson. It's got to be an absolute belter. Yes. Not quite sure where I found that one. <laughs> you must have thought you were <laughs> home and dry. Well, you, you just never know, do you, to the last ball's played and um, you just have to take it on the chin when he plays a ball like that and it was an absolute cracker of a ball. And it's one of those kind of balls that you dream about playing at the right time and he just did that, so... Can't let's change the length of the jack this week. This coming up this week. Well, well played. One red. Well, again, Carla just needs to avoid these front two bowls. Anything through that hole will be very good. Oh, look at this. Fantastic. Okay, do you have a little run at this? Get one, two on the bowls. Slightly thin edge off it. Well, what a way. That's a live bowl that's just gone in the ditch, so that'll get marked with a red dot. Just see the shot clock there counting down. The shot clock is in operation for the singles. 30 seconds each to send your bowl. Oh, well played again. Mm, put another nice one in. Two red.
<coughs> something nice and solid. Jack needs to come with it. Oh, lucky. Excellent bolo. Yep. Yep. Actually, Jason, I'm not sure if that could be the shot. Looking at Carla's face, so it looks like it's run to red. I'm going to say, <laughs> that was a face unlucky. <laughs> Cracking bowl though. Kerry will not be that keen to give that away, I don't think. Pleasure for shot. Well, keeping the officials busy. Francis with his calipers. Some people can just see that right away if this if the line shot or not, and other people, which I'm one of those players actually that <laughs> I'm, I do struggle to see if I can if if, if it is shot or not. Um, I haven't got a good eye at all. I do rely on the umpires quite a bit to tell me what's going on. And it looks one red. One shot, Carla Banks. Perry will be keen to get onto this scoreboard. Set score seven zero after four ends. Yeah, seven in four ends. Still plenty of time yet though. Jack length twenty eight and a half meters. through a little bit. Very looks as though. She looks very well. Yeah, just, yeah, that's a better start for her this end. Again, just push through, so a really good opportunity for Kerry now. Just left the door open for a little bit. Just try and get another one as close as she can. Needs to run. One green. Struggling a little bit to put some balls together. If Carla can make the adjustment this time. Well, it's covered those anyway. Yep, a bit of a loose end this end, but a chance here for Carla just to get this shot back. Nice draw. Any trail on the jack would be good. 
won't want to go searching for it though. It'd be very easy just to overplay this. On straight on getting the shot. Don't think she likes it looking at her face then now. And just push through again. Timeout called. Carrie has four timeouts remaining. Carrie just taking a moment. Yep, called a timeout. Just gets an additional 60 seconds. Gets five throughout the game. Oh, just get back to this back bowl. Mm -hmm. Needs to sit. I don't think that's in. One shot, Kerry Packwood. No, oh, where does she go with this jack, Julie? Seven, one after five ends. She was favouring the long jacks, remember, in the, the um, two ball pairs yesterday. It's going a bit shorter. That's jack not a bad length, actually. Metres. That kind of 24, 25 metres. Balls seem to come back well, yep. especially, especially on this forehand. Yep. This backhand's all about weight. If you've got super weight, nine times out of ten, you will come back out. Obviously the carpet's playing a bit heavier this year is what I've ever experienced, but it's still playable. But every time you go out on it, it's a little bit different. Depends on the heating and everything like that. Yeah, it does seem to change a lot more this year than yeah. most years. You know, it just normally just stays the same characteristic wise and maybe just slightly gets slower as the, the competition yeah. goes on. Yeah. But this year it's been getting slower, a bit faster again, slower again. Yeah. And there's more as one run on the carpet. We've got an inside line and an outside line, and if you happen to catch it, the pace is just a little bit different. Needs to take it clean. Shut off. Still just One running out a little bit. Oh, Carla, looking good. Nice and gently on the jack. Mm, Red. Just a little rest here now for Kerry to face the ball and drop in. Well, just needs to hold up. Just pull the 
it a little bit. Quite easy to do that sometimes when you're trying just to drop that little bit piece. Especially in this direction, seen it quite a few times because yeah. people know that line is so fine. Yeah. You know, the, the line's been missed maybe one or two bowls, and it makes you, you know, well, it punishes you really. Yeah, it does. It does. And the way it's perfect there when you're looking down at it. So something similar for Carla. Slightly wider than over the one, but as long as it gets inside the green bowl with good pace, it's coming back now. It needs to run. run. Yep. Probably that's what's took the, the weight off her going a little bit wider at that time. Still one on a look. One red, measure for second. Francis is busy in this game. It is, <laughs> and it is money. Well in. Two shots. Carla Banks. You are going on a coaching course on how to um, look at balls in the head to see what's shot and second. what's not. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? It's like you say, Julie. Some people are very good at it, very accurate, and others <laughs> sometimes don't have a clue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Umpires out here are really good though. I mean, they very rarely get it wrong. Um, obviously, on odd, odd occasion I have seen it happen, but um, I tend to rely on them maybe a wee bit too much at times. That but um, if you really wanted that measure, it is there for you. There's no reason why you can't get it. So, Carlo will be looking at just scoring on this end and putting this first set to bed quite early. I think realistically, Kerry's probably looking at needing to score all three ends now. Yeah. No, Carla's went really short. Well, 25 metres, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So she's kind of varying the jack quite a bit. Maybe that's a tactic of hers to try and keep um, Kerry from finding a rhythm. Yeah, sometimes if someone's just slightly struggling for pace, don't let them. It's like don't let them settle. Yep. Keep m mixing it up a little bit. Yep. She found one here. It's a very good bowl. One green. Well, another chance for Kerry. Concentrate on this one, double it up. Kerry really needs two or three shots here to keep her in this set.
So backhand draw, just looking to lose a yard of pace. The line looks quite good. Just yeah. needs to be in now. Just going to fall away. Good effort though. Well, top side of this with good pace. Yeah, here comes number two if it gets past. Brilliant. It keeps our hopes alive for this set. Yep, be looking at six now in Two the next two ends. Carrie Patrick. So it's called 9 3 after seven ends. I'll oh, just be thinking about getting second shot here this next end, just to keep it very tight. Your game's going to be a good one, Julie. Catherine, I'm sure you've been seeing Catherine's game. She's been playing absolutely outstanding, hasn't she? She has, yeah. How yeah. Outstanding. Yeah, she's um oh well, she's she's a different class. I mean she's every time she comes here, I don't think I've ever seen her have a bad game. No. I really don't. And um it, she just feels so much at home here. And I think we obviously having the baby and everything, I mean I remember when I had my daughter, um I won, I won loads of stuff afterwards because you think you're more relaxed and you're more um, at least you've got something to go home to if things are not going right and I think that will be helping her as well and she just lives down the road so it's it's easy for her to pop up here um, and still be at home <laughs> yeah, a little while. well fabulous start from Kerry that's exactly what she needs Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to playing her again. It's been a, a wee while since I've actually competed against her, so it's it's always a good challenge. Yeah, Carla just does not want this to build up at all. Yeah, it's. Um she won't be overly bothered not getting the shot bowl. She just wants to keep the heads tight, doesn't yeah. she? You know, Kerry needs at least two here to drag it into the last end. So just keep keep it nice and tight. Try and find a really, really close second bowl. Yeah, Carla takes a wee pause there before she delivers her ball. Well, back to this jack or ball. She's very close. Mm, well played. Maybe not got shot there, but it's still a great ball she's played. Yep, she'd be happy with that. Second shot, she's saying to Kerry, well, if you want that double, you're going to have to get one within six or seven inches. Kerry needs to run here. Mm. Oh, fantastic. Yep. It sits back. Oh, one green and a mess. Decided to come up. I think that last bowl of Kerry's will be Carla's jack, really. That's yep. the bowl she wants to get down to. She gets just yep. inside that. Not only will she get the shot, but she'll take those two bowls away. Yeah, she will. She doesn't want to do anything silly here. She's got a good third shot sitting in there. Time out called. Carla has four <laughs> mm, she's decided. <laughs> I think this is where the experience comes with the shot clock. I mean, the people that play it a lot know exactly how to play it. Um, and it's often, you're off actually better probably going up after you, when your opposition plays the ball, you're actually better following them up just to see where their ball's landing sometimes with the third ball. Greg Harlow is one of the best ones to watch if you're needing a bit advice on how to do it. But Carla's only been here, this is her second year here, so I mean you're still learning. Yep, yeah, you don't really get to play against the shot clock anywhere else. So it does take a little bit of mastering like you say. So a nice forehand draw. Oh, 
I've never noticed that word before, taking such a, such a time in the mat before she delivers it. And I've played with her a lot of times too, back in Scotland. She's played with me in the internationals and everything. Wow. So maybe she's just changed something. Oh, oh fantastic. <laughs> the delivery has definitely One changed. Minute. I've noticed a, a change in the delivery, but like you say, it's a it's definitely obvious that she's just slowing herself down a little yeah. bit, concentrating that little bit more. And she's playing well for it. That's a set light. That was a cracker she played there. I wonder if Kerry will decide to play the split on the balls and see if she can just get that wee bit run through. Kerry has three timeouts remaining. I think it's worth a go, Julie, at this stage. Yeah, nothing to lose. Yeah, playing for this split. She gets one on the right hand side first and then back. She's just underneath it though. Yeah. So it's going to be one shot here to Carla Banks. He's going to take this first set. One shot in the first set, Carla Banks. Yep, first set to Carla Banks. Ten shots to three. Dad Colin will be watching in the stands. Be quite pleased with his daughter's performance at the moment. Yeah, Colin's here. Very, very experienced player. Comes from a bowling family, does Carla? Your brother's not bad either, eh? <laughs> <laughs> brother's very good. Carla plays with her mum as well. Her mum's a decent bowler too. They've you don't often get um, bowling families nowadays like this. Not to that level. No. You know, you get a lot of people that the family do play ball, but that they all play at a, a good high level. Yep. yep. Yeah, um, um, they were all played in the PBAs this year, you know, up in Scotland. Jack Lang's 27 and a half metres. A few metres. other different venues. It's always great to see I wonder what the conversation's like around the kitchen table in a, <laughs> a night time. <laughs> Especially when they play against each other. Yeah. Keeping the pressure on, which is good. Sometimes you tend to relax a little bit in the second set after you've won the first set like that. But that's a good start from her. That's a good opening ball from Kerry as well. Yeah, Carla's taking all the time she needs to deliver that ball. Wants to just miss this jack, ideally. Mm, very unlucky. Kerry will be saying thank you very much for that, but... One green. Just having a quick look. Probably just looking at the angle of that front ball now, I think, Julie. Yeah. Oh, she's off again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job she's fit. I don't think I've ever seen her run as much as that in the game. <laughs> She's playing this backhand, so she may be just playing the one-two. Mm, she needs to get that ball away, yep. Yeah. Mm. 
it just does not come back with just that extra little bit of weight, does it? Not on that backhand. Yeah, always struggles. I wasn't sure whether she may have just been forced to rush, rush that a little yeah. bit at the end. Yeah. Well, oh. Kerry. Well, you can see there, Carla's last ball has actually stayed at the back of the rink. The trouble is, there is a little bit of a bad connection here. I think with a set under your belt and just one down, I won't be playing anything too exciting at this. I would just be playing, even turning the red ball over. You just never know a couple of turns on that. It might just squeeze it through, touching the white. Mm, she's getting very close to that shot clock. And she's shaking her head. She knew as soon as that was out of her hand that that wasn't the right. Here. Well, and get right back in. I just don't think it will get back far enough. Great effort. Yeah. Well, one to carry. <coughs> one shot, carry Packwood. Zero one, first end. Jack length, 26 and a half metres. A little bit longer this time. Just thought Kerry may have just swapped a hand in this direction. Yep. Just not been nailing it on this backhand. And she's been pushing through a little bit on it. Yeah. Just that little bit. Yeah, quite a few times. I thought maybe just swap to this. This forehand is a very good hand. It's the it's the biggest of the forehands in this you yeah. know in this direction. It's it's quite a nice hand. Sometimes a change of change of hand, they say a change of pace. Yep. Just sometimes helps. It's up to the player. At some point you think, well, I'll I'll stick with it for now, but there comes a point where you think I need to start changing something. Yeah. Obviously, is more confident on that side of the carpet, or that's why she's sticking to it. Yeah, she's just pushing through that little bit, isn't she? Yep. It's actually my favourite hand in the carpet, I would say. The backhand? Yeah, coming down the way. But you need good pace all the time. If you haven't got good pace, you're always going to run. Again, you, you just not got to get back in time. I shouldn't be giving my secrets away, should I? Well, that's right, Carla. And the back doctor too, even better. Well, she's following this one up. Who read? 
even if Kyla drops one in front of that one, be a good ball. Puts more, even more pressure on Kerry. Not a wasted ball, just in case Kerry decides to try and do something here. But I think she'll just be drawn for a second shot. Well, yeah, if she sticks with this backhand, just 18 inches. Disappointed with that. Just run through that a little bit. Good opportunity now for Carla to draw for three. The line's good, just needs to get here. That was a chance. And that's opportunities that you need to take when you're lying like that. You need to Two try shots. and capitalise on it and add another one in there. Put even more pressure on. So it's two yeah, one it's after a bit two like end. a free shot in a way, yeah. isn't it? There's a, you know, you've got a, a draw without any reply from your opposition, but it, still a double. I always mind years ago when I first started out here and David Cockhill was um, the commentator in some of the games that I played and he often would say to me, always try and make that spare shot if you can. That is what wins you a lot of games, if you can do that. And it's something I've always remembered him saying that to me. Well, it's when you look back, isn't it? It's all in hindsight, you know, when you finish a game and you've got maybe a couple of ends where you've had a yard with your last ball yeah, to draw and you've failed. And you think, oh, if, yeah. if only, if only. Yeah. You know, and like you say, at the time, you don't realise how important they are. No. Especially in a short, short format like this, sets, you know, very, very short. Yeah, you need to come out of the, out of the blocks quick on this. You can't let your opposition get too far away from me, or you're always under pressure and trying to pull it back and maybe playing shots that you probably would never have played in the first place. And I think because men do have that big hit drive compared to women, I mean, you get the odd woman that has it as well, but the majority of the, the girls that are here, maybe a couple of them have really big hits. The rest of us are... Um, more controlled way, I would say, when we're playing. We haven't got the full all-out drive. It's not as easy to clear the head the same as... And that's the only difference in the men in the ladies' game, I would say, nowadays, and especially in this format. We're, um, we're more than capable of playing against the men at this format, and um, hopefully you'll see more people like Catherine coming through to um, compete against the men. Yeah, there was a question yesterday, do we think a, a lady, you know, would ever win the open singles? I don't think it's too far away, Julie. I don't think so. No, no when I'm watching her playing. I mean, if the, if anybody's going to do it at the moment, it, it, it will be her. She's, um, I mean, look at her last year. I mean, she was, her ball fell out to beat Davy Gourley to go to the semi-final. I mean, if it had fallen in, she was she was into the semi-final. I mean, that's never been heard of no. years ago, and now... She's starting to show the way for other people what it is, what it is capable of doing it. Long way. Yeah, and Catherine Reddell's already through in the first round of the open singles. 
sets herself for second round tie up with Paul Foster MB that will be a cracker as well yep and the thing about Catherine is she's not frightened to play anyone no she's fearless isn't she she doesn't bother nope. she doesn't matter who it is she does not bother I think it's a good way of doing things that yeah. you know when, you, when you're starting off you, you kind of people tend to play the name of the player yeah. rather, rather than at the end of the day balls you, you play against Very the close. balls that are in nice front of shot. you it doesn't mm -hmm. matter who sends them that's right. you play the balls that are in front of mm -hmm. you and that's how she's like she's absolutely fearless for someone who's about four, 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 seven. Mm -hmm. No, she's like a pocket rocket isn't she is. she she is so Kerry get into this hole and she ran enough yeah one green was a second. Chance of maybe a little touch on this white to make a four. Be a cracker if she could. Yeah, there's a couple of options. She can get down to the bowl nice and solid. She can even just use that last bowl of carries and come back to the jack. It's not the easiest of paces to play. It's quite good to see them actually using their timeouts because I think sometimes you get involved in the game and you forget that you've got them. And then you put yourself under a little bit of pressure. Ella has three timeouts remaining. Just her pace again that's beating her. And it was good. Just move in a bit. Yeah. She needs to watch this clock now five seconds plenty of time very quick on the mat Kerry isn't she yeah. she knows what she's playing already yeah well can you just get up and now just that yard but aim there was really to draw to the back ball at the side at the Right hand side there, and hopefully, if it dropped in, she would have got another shot there. She was maybe frightened herself in case she took the jack back. But they're measuring for shot here. Oh, no, they're not they're having a look. Yeah. One green, just see the, the little wedges are just in place. No, have you got a steady hand like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's close. Mm -hmm. Very close. Mm, interesting. Always go back just to check that nothing's moved. Yeah, just the one. One shot. Kerry Packwood. Not in that shot at the moment. Set so scored 2 2 after three ends. <coughs> the tendency is defined with most measures. I know when I just measure myself if we're playing in just local county games and things like that, I always tend to go to the, the one you fancy. Go to that one first, because in theory, if that's in, it should give you that little bit of a gap that you're looking for. Yeah. But, you know, you know it's, it's important to measure the first bolt, go to the others that are being measured, and then Jack go back to the original bolt. Meters. That's just to make sure that there's nothing moved during the measure. I wonder if that's a rule when you're doing your umpiring course, that that's what they're supposed to do. I think so, because if you look, it's pretty standard here, isn't it? All the um, It doesn't matter who's the umpire. Everyone works m almost the same way. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's very regimented, aren't they? They're very, very good at what they do. Yeah. 
and um, yes, there's, there's different levels of umpiring, obviously different uh, standards that you must uh, reach. Obviously we have, uh, I think the highest is ITO, International Technical Officer. Um, you know more as me, Jess. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are the, the guys and girls you get at your Commonwealth Games and your big games yeah. like that. Yeah, there's various, various different levels and obviously you're tested and you're regularly tested. It's a skill in itself, really. Yes, it is. Yeah. And at club level, I'll tell you, a lot of them don't get enough thanks for doing it because a lot of them give up their own time to actually help out and do things. Exactly, exactly. A lot of it's done, you know, volunteer and stuff like that. Very much appreciated for the sport. And I have to say, it's not everyone that can stand there for four hours and watch bowls and can... And you do you take your hat off to them for doing it. And it's just the little rules as well, I find, Julie. You know, the bizarre rules that yeah. don't come up in a normal game. Yeah. You know, like the, how far does your bowl need to travel to be a legal blocker? Things yeah. like that. Not many yeah. people know no. the distances. Well, Carla, you just need to run here. And she has. One Balls are stopping quite quick this time compared to last year, I would say, even just watching them coming up the green there. You think sometimes they've got to run on and then all of a sudden they just stop quite dead, they're quite flat. Oh, well played here. Is she running? Favour that green. Well, Carla, I just don't think you're going to get back. Sits that, it's a good bowl, mm -hmm. another option. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they're asking for a wee bit of advice here, I think. Very close with short, slightly favoured green. Out cold. Kerry has two timeouts remaining. Wonder if that was deliberate with Kerry having matching shoes to go wear. <laughs> At top. Well, we know you ladies like to look your best. Quite good that they've um, allowed us to play with white or black trousers this year. At least you're getting the option. Yeah, I think it's it just looks a bit more modern, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, there's been various different comments and you know players preferring. I, see, I I personally think the black trousers look better with the red. Yeah. And I think the white looks quite nice with the green. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, you know, but personal choice, isn't it? You you can all choose what you want to wear. not a fashion show at the end of the day <laughs> no you just have to you have to wear what you're comfortable with and how if it makes you feel good on the green then that's what I always say you have to um, you have to feel ready to play your balls before you even go out and if you feel comfortable and, and smart in yourself I think it does help oh, she's asked for a measure I just put one on the card there for green. I just thought with it Measure being shot. shuffled on the carpet, but we'll soon see. Yeah. He'll be putting in for overtime. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't turn the bowl, but I say, no. a few, I say a few times when the carpet is so stretched, yeah. just that nudge. Yeah. It just slip, kind of slips, it's, doesn't it? Yeah, it slides a little bit.
Let's soon see when Francis goes to the other. But when you look down the ages of um, what you used to wear in internationals and everything like that, and, and see how far balls has come now compared to when I first started, it's 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 like a different world now. Yeah, well, I remember sure. when I first started like, in the, the junior international series before making the series, it was kind of like you played the trial end of the you, go, two, international three, tie on, four, mm -hmm. and then after your trial ends, you were allowed to remove your tie. You know, and then we, you had we, blazers and... We used to wear hats. Yes, sir. In, Sc in Scotland, we used to wear... Uh, and even in every... every um, and this isn't outdoor I'm talking about, but when when we paraded, even in the indoor, we used to wear white hats years ago when I first started out. So, I mean, can you imagine Thanks some of the young weeks. ones coming in now with the pleated skirts and the, and the white hat? And yeah. When you look back <laughs> at the, some of those photographs... <laughs> And your skirt only had to be, was it two inches below the yeah, knee? Yeah, yeah. Oh Somebody my. used to come along the line making sure that it was <laughs> the right length for you. <laughs> and if it wasn't, you were told before the international started, get that skirt turned up or whatever. Um, oh, what a long way we have come, I have to say. So, Katie Patwood just gets her nose in the lead here for this second set and plays an absolutely corker of a first ball. Five ends remaining. Should be wanting to get this to a tie break. <coughs> Carla's changed her hand to the forehand. Well, I'm not saying she's changed her hand, but she's playing the forehand here. Maybe she's just thinking she could maybe get a closer one in here to start with. Because she has run through in the backhand a few times. Kerry could just bend and face this ball, it would be a cracker. Something's not right with this one. Nope. You just miss your line that little bit. Even two balls or something, it just brings over. Well, I think she needs to play down this backhand, I think. Yeah, she does. Well, she's missed the front. Looking good if she gets back to this jack. Got bend. Oh, just, just. Not much in that, was there? Nope, not at all. <coughs> Favourite's just one. Kerry needs just to get another one, just even slipping her front ball and just coming in between the two red at the back. There would be a crack. It could be a really good one. Just needs to get inside. Yeah. Lucky. There could be another shot there, though. I'm not sure, but at this angle here. I think I think it's just the one. I think I'm going to go for one green, but it's the same ball for Carla. Only midges away. Swapping. Hmm. She she playing the ball off. Oh. 
Well, she's got a hit on her when you see that. Yeah, it came down with some speed. Just wondering whether she's more. I, I thought she was just the one down, but because that is a live ball, isn't it? Yeah. Like, she had the respot position, I guess. Conceded. <coughs> One green and a measure. Must be closer than it looks. If it is two or three, then that's obviously the reason why Carla was playing for that. Missed the shot ball, there was those two wide balls yeah. to remove. No. No, just the one. Yeah, oh yeah, mile. <laughs> Good three inches in that. I think I've met my match with Kerry on this screen the other day. <laughs> Let's go I think four, sometimes if when you're looking at that, you're just willing your own ball to be in <laughs> more than anything else. <laughs> oh, 4 2. Just keep winning ends. Yep. The, the more ends she wins, the at length 25 and a half meters. At least meters. she has to get back in this game for Carla. So just keep plugging away. That's all you need to do. Just keep scoring. Stop. Oh, yep. nearly. Just nip this line with this one. Should be able to come around that ball. Yeah, it's quite a way down, isn't it? Nice pace. We'll come all the way around that. <coughs> the line's perfect both times. Well, this looks better. It just breaks now, it'll be number two. Oh, lucky, mm. good ball though. I didn't expect that to run that far actually, watching that coming down there. She looks a little bit tighter as well this time. It might be wrong, it might if it just slips it. Here it comes. It needs to come with the jack. Oh, lucky. Great effort. Well, she has the back position. Two seconds, so giving herself a chance here. Yep. Yeah, 
yeah, carry in the danger. Covered that quite yeah. well. Good thinking. I think Carla may just play underneath this short bowl now, just try and wing the green bowl of Kerry's away from the jack by a two. Or she could play the very difficult shot again just over top side. Standing on the inside of the mat, so I think she's coming underneath it. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. And just exactly yeah. where Kerry's put hers. No different. Cleared everything. Yeah. <laughs> Half. Yeah, it was a good hit. Dr. Kerry Packwood saw that danger. I think it's two. I think there's one at the back of. We can't Is see. I think there's one at the back here. Yeah. Ah, right. Kerry yep. Packwood. Set score two six after six ends. And the fine margins makes all the difference. Can Carla give the shot away the first end? Can she trail the fighting to get to Kerry's ball? And now she's given another shot here. Jack length, 25 and a half metres. And she's finding her length now, 25 and a half metres is what she's uh, been playing. Good start again. Yeah, the consistency level for her first couple of bowls has definitely gone up. Yep. And that's yep. That's the reason for the, the difference in the score at the moment. Just forcing Carla just to attack these heads. Here again, just inside would be ideal, well played. Too green. Very easy just to drop that a little bit short and then just push that extra tiny bit on. Kerry's decided to leave that hand alone. Yep, I'm starting to put the pressure on a bit more. Three green. If it draw around Kerry's front ball there. Yeah, just relying on decent pace. Can she stop? Nope, she's gone. Well, in a heap of trouble now. And I bet you when she's looking at the mat, she'll be thinking there's a wee pop in shot there just to take that jack back. Yeah. But it's one of the hardest ones on the carpet to play. That's why Kerry will just ignore this head. Just finish right round the back onto those red balls or even further. She'll be happy with three. Doesn't need any more than yeah. a three. 
Yeah, well played. Oh, good. Best back, that kind of forces Carla really to play the, the more difficult pace. Yeah. Had she finished on the inside of the Red Bulls, Carla could have gone a lot quicker, which is normally slightly easier. There's still a chance if she plays out even down the forehand with pace, she can clear two bowls away, but she really needs to score. Looking for a good one here. Well, needs to throw that anchor out. Just gone again. Yep. Three shots. Kerry Packwood. Well, just shows you how fast again the bowlers can turn. Set score two nine <coughs> after seven ends. Seven adrift, Carla. Two ends to play, so she needs at least a one maximum. Very, very likely we'll go into a tie break. You can see Curry settle down and more relaxed now is what she was at the beginning. And sometimes it just takes you that little bit of time to do that. Length 25 and a half metres. Here again. We'll just run in that little bit, Carla. Okay, we start to think about coming around the back. Now, me. <laughs> well, she knows Carla needs at least three shots, so she'll just keep covering any kind of grouping of balls that. Carla places. Trying to see how Carla can get a three in this end to keep it alive. Looking at how the head's sitting for her. Three green. Yeah, it's going to be very hard to get down underneath that for the jack on the forehand. Do the shot. She could. I think if she goes quick, she might just get a two. She does need three. Maybe just blast through and hope you get the result. Yeah. She's playing that very difficult pace under the green bowl. It'll go quick now. 
So it's going to be a three here for Kerry Packwood, and she's going to take this second set. Three shots in the second set. Well, Kerry Packwood to two. Tie break. Into a tie break we go. Slightly different the tie breaks if you've not seen one before. It's a three end tie break. It doesn't matter about how many shots you score per end. It's just the first player to win two ends. First player to win two ends will put through. So I think Kerry is just taking a very quick comfort break. So we'll have a little look at what's coming up for the rest of today. Well, in the afternoon session at two o'clock, Carla won the toss and let's keep the jack in the first world game. Ladies match play champion. Laura Daniels of Wales, she'll be taking on Alison Merrion, MBE of the Channel Islands. Very, very good all round player. And then following that game, round about 3 30, is Ireland's Sandra Bailey taking on England's Sophie Tolchard. No game this evening, as you can see, though. We just have a free night. This just allows for the BBC to set up all their camera equipment. We'll be back with you tomorrow as well. BBC will be showing the World Open Pairs final from Monday at 1 o'clock. Join David Cork, he'll and his team for that. That's going to be an absolutely fantastic final. Defending champions Mark Dawes and Jamie Chesney face Scotland's Darren Bennett and Stuart Anderson. Well, there's the Langham Glass that they're playing for. I'm sure you've got a few of those, Julie. <laughs> yeah, I've got three. <laughs> very, very fortunate to have three. It's <laughs> a lot of dusting for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> are, I shouldn't be saying this, they're actually in my wardrobe at the moment because I took them away from my living room when I put my Christmas tree up and I haven't brought them back out again yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll maybe have to think about bringing them back out. I thought you'd have a trophy cabinet for all yeah. yours. It'd be some trophy cabinet, that, Julie. I think uh, people get quite surprised when they come into my house because they expect to see things and I really haven't got things lying <laughs> around. There's not very much to say that I'm a bowler or that I've won things. Um, I'm just not into, into that. Well, you can see that's the, the crowd there. You can see, actually, Colin Banks is sat on the... Well, near the front row. That's Carla's father there in the grey sweater. Kerry's sister will be there somewhere, maybe on the other side, sitting watching her sister. Yeah, she has Kelly. been in the audience, yep. yeah. Perhaps they're swapping shirts. Uh, maybe, you <laughs> never, never know. You wouldn't know, would you? <laughs> <laughs> right, so Kerry's back from the comfort break, into the tie break we go. As usual, thanks for joining us for these World Championships. Hope you've enjoyed the coverage. Yeah, my daughter was sitting up in the stand yesterday watching and when I was went to the tie break, Jack length, she herself meters. didn't realise, because I hadn't explained to her exactly what happens, and she didn't realise that it was um, one point per end. She thought it was the shots that you, you accumulated, so at the end she was thinking, to begin with, she actually thought we'd won the game. Oh. <laughs> um, but um, no, uh, when she realised what had, what had happened, she says, e that doesn't happen, Mum. It's no the shots. It's just the point that you get now. It yeah, that's that's how it works, Alex. I says sorry. I said I should have explained that to you better. <laughs> she wondered why you kicked the cat when you came yeah. off. <laughs> I was I was fortunate. She gave us a big cuddle and said you played well, Mum, and hard luck. But that's the way it goes. Well, great opening ball from Carla on this first tie break end. Just needs to steady the ship a little bit, yeah. do, doesn't she? Yeah, she played the first set very well. And uh, Kerry upped the game, but obviously her first two balls was a lot better and put her under pressure. It made her play more forcing shots, like the running shot. So it's going to have been a game in two halves, hasn't it? Very much so. Further she runs the better. Yeah, she wants to get centre rink ideally. Yeah. That's well played. <coughs> OK, 
Maybe it looks a little bit narrow here. Maybe it's just the angle I'm looking at it at. Yeah, she's not. She played this. Needs to miss the front. Oh. Oh. That was very close. Too red. I actually thought she'd missed that to begin with. Maybe need to get glasses. <laughs> Might not be able to tell who's nearest then maybe as well. Maybe, that's maybe where <laughs> I'm going wrong. Jason, yeah, maybe that's what it is. Well, Carla will be aware. Kerry knows this line now. Half an inch away from getting that shot. Want to take the shot away from Kerry first, I think. Um, I think she's just going for a bit of co cover there, but yeah. I, I'd personally just try and take that shot off, Kerry. Just try and draw nicely up to that jack. Yeah. Even just resting on her shot ball and falling down herself, it takes that play away completely. She kind of get into it then. Still has to be done. Okay, just changing her. Oh, she's going for it. Just thought she might have played something similar because yeah, uh, she was close for that one. Without a touch on that front ball, she had that, but still got another ball. You can see a deep green ball there. The trouble is, if she hits the target, you're not you're not guaranteed to know where this jack's going, or no. you can bounce a little bit here. Carla really needs just to probably just go in the respot at that side. Best back, she's got the respot anyway, so I think she has to draw this, Julie. Up, draw up to this side bolt, get to the jack. Won't bend. First end, Carla Banks. Yeah, I just feel as though she was so close to her second, she should have probably give herself another chance with that. I think in tie-break situations, people do s tend to lift their hand a bit quicker as they would if they were playing, because you know you need to get the shot. So I think you, you do tend to do that. It's all about holding your nerve, isn't it? Yep, that is it, isn't it? It is the nerve. Oh, Kerry's got last ball here. Jack length, 26 and a half metres. Well, she's played a good first ball here. It just runs another foot or so. Not too bad. Yeah, not bad opening ball at all. Maybe I'll be looking to put one closer, obviously. And line superb there too.
Well, the line's good again. And it's better weight as well. This gets right behind this jack. Right to that spot. Okay, there's not wasting any time here. Got the jack. Oh. Bit of there. Spring back off it. That's not so easy to get to. Have to play across this rink. Betty will be watching this ball. Going up to see what she needs to do herself. Well, this looks really good. Really good. Thank you, Ryan. So good opener for ten. Yep. Carries probably thirty inches to beat it. Just a couple of balls tighter than Carla's. Let's see. A lot smaller bowl. Well, this throws the anchor. Oh, unlucky. Just run on a little bit, hasn't it? She One knows minute. where the line is now, though. That's yeah. a good thing. He's even got the option of popping the ball out if Carla doesn't put another one in there. Time out, call. Carla needs to get another one in here, though. Yep. Just, just put a yard on, finish something past the jack. We'll want to finish together, because like you say, Julie, she'll go for the bowl. Carla has three timeouts remaining. To get to the other side of the jack would be very good. Can she run? To sit together, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Just the boss might not go out now. No, one normally locks in, doesn't it? Well, decisions, decisions. Time out call. Kerry has two timeouts remaining. Trouble is, I'm just trying to find the spot. I think the red red ball covers the spot. So the trouble is, if she tries that, that drag down the forehand, maybe she's got to stay with it, hasn't yeah. she? If she plays the two balls, well, she's going to need that at a very fine angle. She's going to need to hit that front ball slightly off centre. There is a chance, though, it could lock onto the back green ball as well. She's she's playing something a bit attacking. Yeah, I thought she would. Wide. No, unlucky. Yeah. Just slightly wider the target. Then the tie break, break, break in the match. Single Carla for Banks. Carla Banks and take that tie break to. Oh, what an interesting game! It was young Carla Banks from Scotland found the form in the first set, led it all the way and took that first set 10-3. But Kerry Patwood showed all her experience and started to play an awful lot better at the front with the first two bowls, and she took the second set. And then it went into the tie break. Very, very well matched game. It was actually nine ends apiece, and actually Kerry just won on the shot 15 14. But it's Carla Banks that sees herself into the semi final. So, order of play for the rest of today. Two o'clock, current World Ladies Match Play champion Laura Daniels faces Alice and Mary in MBE, and following that game, 3 30 ish, is Sandra Bailey of Ireland and Sophie Tolchard. Thanks for joining me in the commentary box, Julie. Thanks, you, Jason. Enjoyed that. My pleasure. See you all later, everybody, at 2 o'clock. Until then, bye for now.